about the music, little bang, love about this jockey. And welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. Brand new season. So glad to have you with us on this journey. Brian Anderson here, joined by the Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Coach Stan Van Gundy. We'll hear from Allie LaForce as well. And this is what the schedule looks like for Portland. On Friday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. In that game against the Kings, that will be their fourth outing in this young season. Coach will want to have his team starting to build a rhythm by then. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. Inside, it's Green next to Jackson Davis. Curry and Heel to the sharp shooting backcourt. And it's Wiggins in at the three. And for Portland, Sharp and Avdia are on the wings. Williams is out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Henderson in at the point. And so off the tip, it's the Trailblazers. Grant, nothing quite like the first game of a brand new season. So many possibilities. Well, you know, B.A., for the players, you're excited and relieved at the same time. You get to see all the hard work you put in during the offseason payoff. Six on the shot clock. Back to Williams. Here's Aiton. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. It's always good to see Aiton going up strong using his physical gifts. Curry passes to Wiggins. Slayed it in with a nice touch off the window. Yeah, he makes it look so easy out there. The game comes naturally to him. Off the outside. Henderson with a screen on Wiggins. Avdia passes to Williams. Here's Sharp. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And his athleticism is big for Sharp in the post. And he can finish with either hand as well. So he'll get a lot of points down low there in his career. Now here's Heal. Outside Curry. Pulls up. And Aiden pulls it down. Well, I'm surprised that didn't fall for him. We know that's a shot he can hit. And there wasn't much resistance either. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Curry passes to Heald. Back to Curry for three. Portland with a rebound. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. And Grant, once again, Stephen Curry hit 300 threes last season. Man, he's in a class of his own. Well, there have been seven 300-plus three-point seasons ever. Stephen has five of them. He has the only 400 three-point year ever. So, yeah, B.A., Stephen has created his own class. Now here's Sharp. Rebounded by Heald. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Curry. Curry with another miss. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to shoot his way out of this one or not. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. I briefly spoke with Chauncey Billups. And no surprise, Steph Curry was the topic of conversation on how they'll defend Steph. Coach Lack, is there a way? I mean, this guy is not just a shooter. Steph's ball handling is passing. It's what makes him an all-time great. It's always a pleasure to watch Steph Curry, and we get another chance to tonight. Guys. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Curry finally gets one to go. That makes him one for five in this game. Yeah, the handles on Curry are insane. There's nothing he can't do with the ball in his hands. Outside Sharp. One guy here this evening, Shaden Sharp. Incredibly talented, Stan. Hey, Brian, you talk about a guy with potentially a very high ceiling. He's got all the physical tools you need. His skills are improving. He's still young and still putting it together. Yeah, great effort tonight, and he's been rewarded with trips to the line. Healed on the wing. The baseline J. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Dangerous face-up shooter. Heals a threat from mid-range to deep range. Here's Sharp. Boom! He jams it straight down. And defensively, you have to make him work harder than this, or it's going to be a long night. Sharp against Heal. Here's Curry. 
Rebound by the Trailblazers. Well, you can tell he's forcing things a bit at the moment. He's been trying to get it going, but this hasn't been his quarter. Well, they know he can finish at the rim, but the defense did just enough to force the miss. Now, here's Green. No points yet. Wiggins, no good. Well, when they're playing off you, you have to make them pay. And he could. Curry with a seal. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Showing off his talent for a racing shot. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Sharp makes that look way too easy. That's elite bounce. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Curry. Hits the trifecta. Curry's got his second basket of the night. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Here's Sharp. And the layup falls. Sharp's got 10 points. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Outside, green. And there's a pick. There's the double with Sharp. Wiggins from long range. And that one's good. And green with the assist. Three. He's got five. This demonstrates assertiveness. You know Wiggins is feeling it when he's rising and firing like this. And Chauncey Billups calls timeout. He'll take the opportunity to regroup. making a change here. Simons checked in. And Golden State also making a switch. Jonathan Kaminga, he's checked in for green. Pass to Williams. Henderson outside. Back to Simons. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Here's Curry. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And they need his offense right now, but his shot is just not all. Shot blocked. Wiggins left side. Over Williams. And Wiggins gets it to go. The assist by Heal. Buddy Heal. And so here's Portland. Four point game. All right, we've now got our 2K insider, Shams Charania, on the line. He's got a special report. Shams, it's all yours. Hey, guys. Will this year mark the loss of Blazers great, Hall of Famer, and truly a one-of-one, one, Bill Walton, one of the greatest big men this league has ever seen, known for his incredible passing skills. And off the court, he was just as dedicated to assisting others and making the world a better place. Guys, there is no question Bill Walton will be missed. His legacy carries on. Okay, Shams, thank you. Now here's Abdia. He's scoreless. Pass to Henderson. Here's Simons. And the foul called on Buddy Heal. That's his first foul. And some changes here for Portland. Klingon, he's checked in for Aiton. Grant comes in for Williams. And it's Thibel in for Henderson. Simons with it. He's covered by Curry. Simons against Curry. Simons' shot is good. And the Trailblazers lead by six. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. The three from Curry. And Klingon pulls it down. Well, it's been a frustrating night for him at the offensive end. Just not able to give them any kind of a lift. Off the outside. 146 left to play in the first quarter. Five to shoot. Goes up from the block. Simon's shot is good. And now an eight-point Portland lead. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Pass to Jackson Davis. Back to Curry. Now 
now Jackson Davis. The kick out to Wiggins. Puts it up from 17. Kuminga's shot is off. But already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Thibel. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. First hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Portland. Well, I like how they're going right at the defense, creating high-quality looks with that penetration. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. Aiden, he's checked in for Portland. Sharp comes in for Avdia. Now here's Kaminga. No points so far. Beekman, good. Unselfish basketball. That's what coaches love to see. Trailblazers lead by seven. Sharp passes to Thibel. Outside Sharp. Back to Thibel. Grant outside. Thibel, a screen on Kaminga. And here's Grant from the arc. Warriors with the rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Wiggins against Thibel. Pass to Jackson Davis. Thibel with a steal. With four on the clock. And rejected. It'll count. And so it's Shaden Sharp making highlights for Portland. He put together 10 points in the quarter. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And what stands out to you from the Trailblazers in this one? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Yeah, they've made a point to get inside on this defense, and it's been working like a charm early on. Inside, it's Grant playing next to Aiton. Sharp teams with Thibel on the perimeter, and it's Simons in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Outside Pajemski. Shot clock at five. On the wing, Curry. Simons with a steal. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. No surprise here. Stephen Curry hopes to be a warrior for life. He said being a part of a group of legends that have played for one franchise, established a culture, and won at the highest level, and did it with a lot of different roster combinations, I don't ever take that for granted. Brian, what a run. Yeah, it is a great run, and he's been the foundation, Allie. Thank you. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Lots of grants in the NBA over the years. Jeremy Grant acts like a guy who grew up around the league. You can really see it, Coach. Well, Brian, he really did grow up around the league. And really just a high IQ player, great in the locker room, gives you great energy and effort every night. Curry looking it over. Oh, a strong finish from Curry. Zero fear from Curry inside. Two more points in his Hall of Fame career. Pass to Thibel. And here's Simons. Counted from distance. Simons has got nine. Rock solid screed right there. The defender got completely lost. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look for him. And Steve Kerr calls time out here. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. All right, let's take a look back at last season and see the teams who collected the most second chance points. The Trailblazers, third, fifth on the list, the Warriors. Both of these teams took the second chance opportunities they got last year. Curry, no good. Well, you can't question his confidence from out there, but it's not falling. Maybe time for a different approach. Warriors trail by 10. Quarter two in about two minutes in. 
And again, no good by Golden State. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Aiden, no good. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for the Warriors. Puts up a deep three. Oh, Curry doing what he does best. This is why you got to be right up on Curry. Any breathing room he gets is too much. It's sharp on the wing. To the inside. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Anderson. Outside Kaminga. Pass to Pajemski. Oh, deflected. Kaminga with it. Shoots over Thibel. Kaminga's shot is off. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Here's Simons. And the shot falls short that time. Warriors trail by seven. Outside Curry. Over Sharp. Heibel with the board. The Trailblazers have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Pass to Graham. Here's Green. Oh, look at Green. So smart. So athletic. And can't forget where Green is in transition because he keeps himself ready to score in these situations. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Grant outside. And it's Jeremy Grant with a foul. That's his first foul of the game. They're still out in front. However, the turnovers are not helping them sustain this lead. Walker, he's checked in for Sharp. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Thibel against Curry. Over Thibel. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Curry's got seven points here in the quarter. Well, some great scores in the NBA right now, Stan. Anyone you think doesn't get enough credit for their offensive talents? Wow, Brian, that is a tough question. So many guys putting up such big numbers right now. Devin Booker maybe still a little overshadowed by Kevin Durant. De'Aaron Fox maybe overshadowed by Sabonis. And Tyrese Maxley certainly is overshadowed playing with Embiid. And here's Thibel. Simons outside. Shoots over Anderson. Simons' shot is good. Simons has got 11 points. Well, they have leaned on him offensively with good reason. Efficiency will help you win a lot of games. Here's Beekman. He's covered by Simons. Heels from outside. Golden State with a rebound. Jackson Davis. Heeled against Thibel. Clock at six. Kept alive. Ooh, Williams with the block. And it's Simons penetrating. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. Well, I think Simons was hoping to generate contact on the drive. He's eager to get to the line. For the Trailblazers, Avdia, he's checked in for Grant. And it's Henderson in for Thibel. Jackson Davis goes up and lays it in nice and easy. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Henderson outside. On the wing, Simons. There's the three. Rebounded by Heald. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Grant, despite the Warriors' success over the last decade, it hasn't always been this way for this franchise. Yeah, they didn't have many winning seasons before they got Steph, Clay, and Dre. And you know, B.A., from 1978 to 2012, 
They made the playoffs just six times. Sharp, he's checked in for Simon. Pass to Aiden. Basket's good. Aiden's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, you see the vision from Henderson. Just a terrific facilitator. Here's Beekman. Healed on the wing. There's the triple. Nails it from beyond the arc. Heald's got five now. They've closed the gap over the last few possessions. But can they push through and grab the lead? Well, with all the momentum they built up, I don't see this run stopping anytime soon. Sharp finds eight. Tries again. And that's two points on the layup. He has six. Well, there's a reason Aiton has a high field goal percentage every year. He typically takes shots he knows he can make. Now here's Kaminga. Still no points. Healed from outside. From the arc. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Avdia. Back to Henderson. Let's it go from deep. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. Warriors trail by four. It's stolen by Henderson. To the middle. Here's Avdia. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And the Warriors making a switch here. Portland shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. And the free throw, no good. Grant, there have been so many great players that have gone through Portland over the years. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's almost 50 years since their last title. It's a great city with a great fan base. And for their sake, I hope their second title comes soon. Now here's Curry. He's got 12. Here's Jackson Davis. Uses the glass on the layup. Relentless effort creates the second chance opportunity. Pass to Sharp. Minute 32 left in the first half. Here's Aiton. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. And when you look back at the 2023 draft, the Warriors got great value out of their picks. Yeah, I mean, they got Pajimski with the 19th pick, a versatile player who impacts the game at both ends. And they also got Trace Jackson Davis late in the second round. And he is a fundamentally sound big man with great upside. Oh, Williams with the block. And it goes out of bounds. The last touch by Williams. And while we have a break, here were some of the top free throw shooters in the game last season. Stephen Curry is second, and of course, Anthony Simons. From the free throw line, those two were almost automatic last year. What great assets they are late in the game. Now here's Curry. Looking to get it going. Sharp grabs the miss. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And, of course, that one was just crazy. Yeah, head first down the lane. Henderson wants to throw it down on your head. Oh, Curry, just nasty from downtown. Well, if they can come back and take the lead, this will be because he's carrying. This quarter's been all about him and his offense. Outside Sharp, back to Aiden. It's Avdia on the wing. It's rebounded by Golden State. This, of course, their first opportunity to play Portland this season. They're looking to make amends for their poor showing against this team last season. Now here's Curry. He's got 15. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. the rim that lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring fires from way outside it doesn't go for him and the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far portland ahead they lead by four and time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2k sports
Hey everybody, it's Portland Trailblazer basketball on tap in a game that's proven to be a healthy matchup through the first half. They've been choosy when hunting for shots, guys. I like that. Trying to capitalize on every single possession. And since we have a moment, let's... And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. Through the first two quarters and change, his perimeter shooting continues to be spot on. Yeah, he's been locked in tonight. Through the first two quarters, he's been a huge factor from outside. Warriors trail by four. On the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Heal to the sharp shooting backcourt. Wiggins and Green hold down the forward spots. And it's Jackson Davis in at the five, roaming the paint. Curry's shot is off. And the Trailblazers shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. Sharp, no good. Now the Warriors with it. Well, when this game is over and done with, they'll be off to Utah to take on the Jazz. That'll be the second of two games on the road. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. The Blazers have a lot to learn. Coach Chauncey Phillips said, I owe it to these players to coach them. The only way I know to do that is with honesty. It's always coming from a good place. Once you know that, then you take it with love. I lead with love. I don't lead with fear. Ryan. That's a Hall of Fame mentality, Ali. He's been in their shoes. Another three for Golden State. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Henderson scanning the floor. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. Henderson's got six. Anytime Henderson can't get to the rim, that mid-range jumper is always there. Wiggins outside. Pass to Jackson Davis. Outside Curry. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Good. Curry's got eight points in the quarter. And here's Henderson. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. Trailing by two. Lays it up and banks it in. Give him eight. An athleticism on display there by Henderson. Just an acrobatic move to finish the play. Henderson against Curry. Inside, Jackson Davis. Count it and the foul. That's on Scoot Henderson. Yeah, they've come out of the break confidently. Four of their first five here to start the second half. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And that one misses. Well, Grant, with players getting bigger and more athletic, do you support moving the restricted area out? Yeah, B.A., I would. We've seen a lot of injuries when defenders slide underneath elevated players on the drive. So cutting down that risk makes a lot of sense. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Out to the right wing. On the wing, Curry. Defended by Henderson. Just five on the clock. Curry's shot is off. For Portland, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. And that one's good. Sharp. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. The Warriors trailing. Outside heel. Pass to Curry. Fires the three. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Here's Sharp. Green with the defensive effort. 
The Warriors have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Curry passes to Green. Healed against Sharp. Outside Curry. Three-pointer. Knocks it down from distance. Curry's got 11 points here in the second half. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. Yeah, and where has the defense been? They've been content to let them fire away. They've got to close out to the arc. And Chauncey Billups calls time out here. Coach wants to speak to his guys and maybe alter some of the game plan. And with this pause, a check on the stats to show you which teams led the league in assists last year. The fourth spot held by the Warriors. Well, last year they were an excellent passing team. They want that to continue into this year. Henderson outside. Sharp a screen on Curry. Henderson outside from the wing. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Jackson Davis has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Well, Stan, he was a five-time All-Star. Chauncey Billups, just one year as an assistant before becoming a head coach. Yeah, but Brian, Chauncey Billups was a guy that even when he was a player and then as a broadcaster, always fought like a head coach. Now here's Henderson. Give him eight points now. And the foul called on Buddy Heald. That's foul number two for him. And some changes here for Portland. Jeremy Grant comes in for Aiden. And Anthony Simons subbed in for Henderson. And Golden State also making a switch. Kaminga, he's checked in for Wiggins. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. On the wing, Simons. He's covered by Curry. It's stolen by Heal. And I'll tell you what, I mean, he sees the man's going to kick the ball out. Wow. I mean, that was great anticipation. Now here's Heal. Five points in the game. I'm sure he'd like to have that back. That's a missed opportunity. <laughs> Throws it down, and the official calls a foul. It may be a three-point play. Reese Jackson Davis picks one up. Pajemski's checked in for the Warriors. That free throw good from Sharp. You know, depending on where Jeremy Grant's been, he's filled a lot of different roles. He's been asked to be the alpha or the second option or even a role player. But whatever it is, he's always willing to do whatever it takes to help the team. And so it's Avdia with it. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. And that'll put them halfway through a three-game homestand. Well, you can't give Simons a look from three. He's a knockdown guy. Now here's Pajemski. Yet to see a basket. Kaminga with a screen on Simons. Down low. The ball's knocked loose. Oh, Williams with the block. Off the outside. And the Warriors pushing it up now. Green in the post. Defended by Avdia. Here's Kuminga. Gets the bucket and the foul. It goes on Shaden Sharp. And you can't leave someone open on Green's team. He's going to punish you for that mistake. And the Blazers making a change here. Dybul's checked in. Anderson's checked in for the Warriors. And Stan, you got into coaching right after college. When did you know you wanted to be a coach? Brian, that's easy. As soon as I figured out that I didn't have much of a future as a player, I knew I wanted to stay involved in the game. I wanted to coach. Healed against Grant. Outside Pajemski. Sinks the tray. Pajemski's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Warriors. Well, they've shown just outstanding effort defensively, and it's resulted in several forced turnovers. Well, another thing they've been doing right in this one is making the most of turnovers. Lots of points for them tonight off of them. The Warriors leading. Outside Kaminga. Pass to Jackson Davis. Outside to Jemski. Back to Jackson Davis. Shot clock at six. Outside Anderson. 
Golden State needs to get off a shot. Grant with a steal. Bob deal with it. Jackson Davis picks him up. Simons right side. The three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Jackson Davis has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Pass to Pajemski. Here's Kaminga. Williams defending. Down to five on the shot clock. Now here's Jackson Davis. Here's Pajemski. No good on the three. Off the outside. And it's Timmy Avdia with the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. And Steve Kerr calls time out here. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. Checked in for Portland. Banton comes in for Avdia. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Melton comes in for Anderson. Now here's Melton. Out to Heald. To the wing, right side. Looney passes to Heald. Now Pajimski. Looney, a screen on Tybal. Heald from outside. Portland with a rebound. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. There's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his first foul. Murray's checked in for Banton. The Warriors also with a sub. Wiggins is checked in. 43 seconds left in the third. Thibel with it. Now Wiggins defending. Grant outside. Pass to Aiden. It's stolen by Looney. Here's Pajemski. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Anthony Simons. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. The Trailblazers have gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Second personal foul. 15. First free throw is good. Such a great score. Simons can carry an offense for a stretch. Now he's working on the night-to-night -night consistency. Melton with the ball. Pass to Wiggins. Shoots over Simons. And it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. And not so fast. The previous play is Got it right before we go to the fourth. Yeah, they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time. But I think it's going to count. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. That basket is good. It would have been a real shame if those points didn't count. I'm so glad the officials were able to take a second look and make the right call. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. He dropped three threes in that quarter. They haven't found an answer for him yet. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Well, it's one of the core parts of the game. Reading the defense and creating an easy bucket for your teammate. That is pretty. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. We've got Matisse Thibel, Jeremy Grant out there with Murray. Then there's Anthony Simons, and it's Aiton in at the five. 
That's the group on the floor for Portland. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Now Simons. Pass to Aiden. Shoots over Curry. That's good from Aiden. On the assist by Simons. And he's now got the double-double. Well, it seems like Simons is always keeping his options open, always willing to make the pass instead of taking the shot. Now here's Curry. And Aiden pulls it down. Grant outside. Pass to Thibel to take the lead. Drops in the three. Yeah, look, that's a good find by the veteran. Grant keeping everyone involved. To the paint. Simons with a steal. Now the Blazers moving it up. Finished off the break. Now it's a three-point Trailblazer lead. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Trailblazers? Well, all you can ask for is your guys to be really active on D, and they've been more than that tonight. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition. Just jumping all over the opposition in this regard. Now here's Thibel. Simons outside. Fires from deep. Oh, he gets it to go. 7 of 13 now. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Looney's checked in for Anderson. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. And Coach challenged the team, asking them to bring the fight inside, telling them to play with pride, telling the team, you're getting bully near the hoop. Let's see if it works, guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. Simons passes to Aiden. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Back to Simons. Shoots over Curry. And it's Simons missing. Warriors trail by three. Tries to spin move. Uh-oh, Kaminga on the take. And that one, good. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, he got a good look, and he calmly delivered for them. That's what you like to see. Here's Simons, following the score by Golden State. No good with the elbow jumper. The Warriors have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Moody passes to Kaminga. Here's Pajemski. Right side Curry. Up top Moody. Six to shoot. And unable to get the go-ahead bucket there. Portland has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Got it. And the trail... Blazers lead by three. Look at how Grant attacks the interior, doing what it takes to get a high percentage shot. Curry passes to Looney. Looney, a screen on Thibel. And here's Curry for three. Connects from downtown. Curry's got six here in the quarter. His points are really adding up from the three-point line. He had nine from distance in the first half, and he's only getting better. Here's Grant. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Yeah, I think Grant doubles down when the defense gets close. He wants to get the whistle. That one falls for Grant. Well, this guy's a classic example of hard work paying off. Jeremy Grant has developed into a very impactful player. Avdia, he's checked in for Portland. Henderson comes in for Thibel. Now here's Heald. Green with a screen on Grant. Heald with room to shoot. They get it back. Here's Jackson Davis. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Now that's a confidence booster. Great effort on the offensive glass. 
Well, his value increases when he can get offensive boards late in games like that. Neither team able to build a lead and sustain it. After six lead changes, it feels like it could come down to one big play. Robert Williams checked in for Portland. Coach, you talk about guys who are always upping their game. How about Anthony Simons? Well, Brian, I feel like he's one of the truly under-the-radar scorers in this league. He's put in a lot of time and work, never satisfied with himself or his game, and he just keeps getting better. Well, so far in the second half, he hasn't been able to get another three to fall. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Golden State Warriors. It's a three-point game. Yield passes to Green. Nice move. Draymond. Oh, such a force inside. We know Green prefers to work up close. He loves getting those high percentage looks. Outside, Williams. Back to Henderson. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. Jackson Davis has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Now here's Wiggins. Pass to Beekman. Back to Jackson Davis. To take the lead. And Heal gets the three. Well, Time that's out. his first three here in the second yeah. half. Gotta think he'd like a few more of those. And Chauncey Billups calls timeout here. He wants to make sure everyone is aligned, given the situation right now. Portland making a switch here. Sharps checked in. Payton's checked in for the Warriors. Portland trailing here. Henderson, the pass to Avdia. Henderson outside. Williams with the screen. Wing shot on the way. Shots good by Henderson. Key points from Henderson. Stepping up. Scoop, young man. Scoop. Pass to Jackson Davis. Williams against Wiggins. Right side green. Back to Wiggins. Fires for three. Obdia pulls it in. Obdia's got his fifth rebound in this one. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. They swipe it. Oh, and often the longer the pass, the greater chance it has of being intercepted. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. What offensive effort from Green. Backing off the shot isn't even a consideration for him. That free throw no good. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. And the second free throw is good. He does enough to give them the lead. Every point critical here with the game in the balance. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Well, huge points from Williams. Remember, he's played in the final. So he knows all about big moments. Now here's Curry. And that one falls for Curry. And so Curry nails both of them. When it's this close, he's exactly who they want at the strike. The Trailblazers have gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Two minutes in the game. Outside Sharp. There's a minute 54 left in the fourth quarter here. And Sharp has no off switch. He's consistent at attacking defenses and drawing whistles. Oh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good. And that ties this game up. Well, he's got to be disappointed that he wasn't able to take the lead. But at least he evened things up. against Sharp. Fires the three. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And 
and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And you can tell being a leader comes naturally to Curry. He sets the tone out there, and all his guys follow his lead. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Portland has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Here's Javier. Second shot opportunity. He's off on that one. Healed with the defensive effort. Henderson against Curry. We've got 113 left in the final quarter. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, and that's maybe something that should be called more. We see a lot of moving screens in today's NBA. Now here's Sharp. Shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Sharp's got 20. Yeah, fearless play by Sharp in clutch time. He wants us to know he's ready to shine in these challenging moments. Curry against Henderson. Here's the floater. Oh, he nails it! Whoa, whoa, that is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. Yeah, don't you just love to see a player embrace that kind of pressure? And Chauncey Billups calls timeout. And Coach didn't want to take any chances in this situation, which is why he called the T.O. And it goes out of bounds. That one off green. Almost had the steal. You have to love the pressure defense. Yeah, deflections are a stat that a lot of teams track. Disrupting the offense's rhythm and flow. Henderson for three. You don't always hear people call out Curry's toughness on the defensive end. But that's a big part of why he's so effective. Heel finds Curry. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And, and you have to try to make something happen. I mean, they have to be aggressive at this point, even if it's risking a foul. He hits the first one, and that'll put him up two. And so he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. Question is, now can they protect the three-point lead he's given them? And Chauncey Billups calls time out here. The pressure is on, and he's got a plan to share with his guys. What do you think is going to be their best move at this point? Tricky situation here. They need some kind of bucket to stay alive. Yeah, the clock is their enemy, and they know it. We'll see if they go for the tie or try and get a quick one. Here's Aiton. Yes! Well, they put their faith in it, and he delivered. And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big fat. He gets the first, and that'll put him up two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. It's all about getting a three right here. Yeah, and when your opponent knows what you need, it makes it that much harder to find an open. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a five-point game. And that'll just about do it. Coming through at the line in a big spot. Avdia from outside. No good on the shot. And so it's Golden State winning this one. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Steph. I know it's still early, but how do you evaluate this team and its ability to go the distance? Um, 
in terms of communicating about our principles and how we're going to be successful, trying to chase that championship, we're definitely uh, on the same page. Just a matter of staying focused every night, giving the best effort we can, and just you know enjoying the journey because it's a long year. Well, you've been there. You know what it takes. Thanks, Steph. Allie, thank you as always. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Stan Van Gundy, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we present the player of the game, Stephen Curry.